Welcome to another episode of Liberty Creek. This is a quick one. So the other day I posted a couple photos of my drone flight and some pictures of the cabin overhead on a couple of my off-grid uh, Facebook pages and I got a lot of response back. They all want to know what type of drone I have. Well, this is it. This is the drone. It's uh, Potensic. I think I'm butchering that name. If not, the T118. And my wife bought me this about three years ago. And it does the job. It's not the greatest uh, video or picture quality, but it does the job. We were watching a bunch of other uh, YouTube videos, and they had a thousand, two thousand dollar drones. Jen said this cost just under a hundred dollars at the time. It comes with the drone, a, a controller, uh, the camera, extra blades, and one battery. Basically, you get about ten to fifteen minute flight with every charge, and it's really fun. This one's really cool. I had one previous and it would just crash or disappear or I couldn't keep it flying. This has like the GPS stable, it stabilizes it for you. It goes, shoots it straight up in the air. It's easy to control. And one of the best benefits is if it gets too crazy or too far away and gets a little scary, like you might lose it, you can push a button and it will come right back to where it started. Okay. So I thought that was great. Um, there's been a Plenty of times I almost lost it or I thought I was going to crash it. Well, I do crash it. Um, but it goes high. It doesn't go as high as those, you know, thousand dollar ones. But it goes higher than the trees. And um, you just got to be careful. A good wind will blow it. And it will go back to where it was before the wind hit it. But you got to be careful because you hit a tree way up top. It blows it down. You're not getting it back. So I'm going to go run outside right now. Show you how simple it is to take this off it's not that difficult you do need a phone okay uh the benefit of having the phone you probably don't need it but you set the phone up on top of the remote and you hook it up with wi-fi and uh you don't need to have internet you're just using your wi-fi um it'll connect to it and now you can see the image on your phone of the camera when it takes off and you could hit record and record it to the phone okay so that's a pretty neat feature I use one of my other phones not my main phone just to record all the stuff so let's go outside let's configure this thing real quick and see if we can get it up in the air just for a couple minutes to show you how it works all right basically here's the phone folks I'm gonna start this up I'm gonna start the program the program actually helps me configure it because I always forget how um, so you launch the app it's got a little spot here you put your phone in. So here I am in flight up in the air. That's Jennifer and I on the ground looking up at the drone. That's the cabin. That's my driveway and my truck. You see the street out there. My shed. My RV. It's almost to the edge of my property line. And then I have 16.5 acres going that way. You can see down the center there, that's the main logging trail that goes down to the creek. Actually, you can see the creek right now up behind the cabin. See my generator shed next to the cabin. I am a terrible pilot, folks. There we are down there, probably waving. There's my fire pit. And there's one of the hiking trails up there. I jumped ahead a little bit so you didn't have to see my terrible flying skills. There we are. I was trying to bring it in to hover above us. I can move the camera separate to the drone, but you need to practice and I just don't practice enough. Here's something interesting. I always try to fly the drone down the, uh, the logging trail here, but for whatever reason, as soon as I cross a certain spot on the trail, 
it does a reverse and comes flying back at me. And as you witness right here, I just hit that spot and it crashes. And it happens every time. At the beginning of a flight, it doesn't matter. Full battery, it will not pass that point on the trail. It's like, I don't know, the Bermuda Triangle on my property. Right now I was running around in the snow looking for it. The camera doesn't have any audio, so I put in some background music so it wasn't super quiet. I actually have some uh, sound effects of drones flying that I usually use. I have another drone video. I'll pop it up here. It was like the first flight. And you could click on that and watch that as well. But that's all I got for you. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you could pick one of these up for pretty cheap. And they're fun. And you get some neat little footage. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And we would appreciate it. Take care, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the little video.